walk from the village of Brimpsfield brings us to the site of the castle, given by William the Conqueror to the Gifford family in return for their services during the Battle of Hastings. The First Lord was formerly named Walter de Longville. His nickname was Gifford, the word Gifford meaning person with fat cheeks in medieval French. The Giffords built two castles, a temporary wooden one shortly after invasion, followed by their stone castle at Brimpsfield shortly afterwards. Brimsfield Castle was built with an impressive ditch and mott. It would have been the main seat of this powerful family in the 11th and 12th centuries. King Edward II was an unpopular king and many nobles took part in uprisings against him. John Gifford was one of these rebels and as a result was hanged at Gloucester in 1322. Gifford's beloved castle at Brimpsfield was destroyed following his execution, with locals reusing the stones from the castle in their cottages, farms and the church. Five years later, the king himself was murdered by rebels at nearby Berkeley Castle. He was buried in Gloucester Cathedral. Today in Brimpsfield, the defensive ditch and mott are still clear to see, a testament to the workmanship of hundreds of men that built the castle almost a thousand years ago.